Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Can you hear me? Hi, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hello, welcome to the class. Hello. Hello, how are you? I cannot see your face. Uh, could you please turn on the webcam? Hello, hi. How are you? Welcome to the class. Uh, my name is Tisha Alexis. You can call me Tisha Alex. Welcome to the class. What is your name? My name is Nao. Okay, now let me just write it here. I think that information is gonna be very important for the evaluation process. Okay, is that your whole name, Nag? Buffan McNug. Nug, uh, and how old are you? Um, 30. I'm 30. Oh, 30 years old? Yes. Okay. Let me just write this information. Allow me just one second. Okay. Okay, that um that is your age, right? Thirty years old, right? Right. Okay, welcome to the class. Allow me just one second, real quick. Before we get started with the class. I'm going to share my screen to you. Let me know if you are able to see. Okay, welcome to iGEMS. Okay, uh, today we're going to be talking about all about you. All right, and especially today, this lesson 
it's, just, it's intended to talk about the personality, all right? And to be able to describe people appearance and personality. So let me ask you something. Do you know these people here in the in the pictures? I think you are mute. Uh, check your mic. I think it's mute. Let me write to you. I think you are not able to listen to me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Let's just go back to the presentation. Okay, let me ask you something. Do you know these people here in the pictures? Do you know any of these popular films characters? Director. Do you have any idea? Okay, they are actors. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me ask you something. All right. So, do you have any idea who they are? No. Okay. So, look at their characteristics, all right? So, I'm going to show you something here. Look at their characteristics, especially physical characteristics, all right? And based on what you can see there, I would like you to compare what are their characteristics. Right. So look at this person. Uh, let me ask you something. Do you know the Joker, or have you ever have you ever seen the the film of the Joker? Uh, Any idea? Two. Okay. Let me ask you something. Okay, so let me ask you something here. Um, what is um, what is this person? All right, what is how? Uh, how do you think the personality of this person is gonna be? I am gonna describe. I'm gonna describe one of these people, all right, and I would like you to guess. Uh, what is his personality? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me?
Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So. Okay, let me just go ahead. And, uh, let me ask you something. Uh, have you ever had uh, the opportunity? Um, is, is that your first time studying English? Is that your first time studying English? No, I study English. I have studied English for eight years. Okay, eight years. Okay. Fantastic. Let me ask something here. Let me just ask a question real quick. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, let's continue. All right, let me just go back to the presentation. Let me just go back to the presentation. I am gonna show you who these people are, okay? Let me show you here. We are having here uh, some people, all right? They are popular people here in America, all right? I am from America, all right? And these people, they are popular people from the movies, all right? Uh, do you um, do you see movies? I see movie, but I didn't see that film in the. I don't. I didn't watch that movie. Okay, uh, especially you watch Vietnamese movies. Do you see Vietnamese yes. movies? I watch Vietnamese movies. Okay, I understand. That's very good. All right. So I, I have seen some, uh, well, not movies, but trailers, all right? Trailers of Vietnamese movies. And it looks, it seems to be very interesting, all right? And especially because some of my students they have recommended me to see some vietnamese movies and i also have been uh looking for information about vietnamese culture all right i think that is very interesting to learn about the culture of different countries especially the movies the gastronomy the type of food the tourism the places, all right? For example, I can tell you that one of my favorite, one of my favorite places, uh, well, I'm saying my favorite because it's one of the, this is one of the places I, I've been looking at, which I would like to visit. I've never been there, but I would like to visit Pukwal Islands because it looks very, very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna explain you this so that you can understand. 
Here we, we are talking about different types of personalities, all right? Um, we are talking about different types of personalities, okay? For example, uh, generous. Do you know what is a generous person? Uh, it's big Jojo. Okay. Oh, very good. All right. Patient number two. Do you think she is a general, a generous girl? Yeah, she looks generous, right? No. Are uh, you say picture two or picture three? You say two, right? But actually, uh, number two, he's not. Uh, number two is not too generous. <laughs> actually, he's like very terrible. He's terrible. But which which one of them do you think is generous? Look at their faces. Look at their appearances. Which one of them do you think is generous? Any idea? Do you have any idea about which one of them do you think is generous? The, the guy with the, with the makeup or the girl that would sit down like this? I don't understand. Okay, no problem. That's fine. I'm gonna show you something. Don't worry. I'm gonna be here to help you understand this very well. Don't worry. Okay. So let's do something, all right? I am gonna do something here. I am gonna change the topic. So I am gonna show you, I am going to show you something different here, all right? So you can see this, that is gonna be very, very easy, all right? So let me ask you something. Uh, I would like to ask you a question. What are your favorite hobbies? Can you say again? Okay. <clears throat> My question is, what are your favorite hobbies? Like the things you like to do? I don't have. Okay, you don't have any type of hobby, interest. For example, I can tell you, in my case, I'm gonna tell you some of them. Maybe you may like one of them. In my case, all right, that's my personal case. And maybe I don't know, perhaps you like one of them. Uh, I like to go around the park to see people, to relax, all right, to take fresh air outside. Do you like going to the park? Sometimes. Oh. Sometimes I like. Sometimes you like, that's very good because you can breathe fresh air, all right? And let me ask you something. What about, um, uh, let me see, for example, like exercising, do you, do you exercise? I like playing sport. Uh, you mentioned football? I like playing sports. Oh, sports, fantastic. Let me ask you something. What's your favorite sport? Football, badminton, volleyball? Basketball. Oh my God, basketball. I also love basketball. So here in America, we play a lot of basketball, especially- NBA, NBA. NBA, that's right. Who's your favorite basketballer, basketball player? Shaquille, 
Michael. Michael. Michael Jordan. Yes. Oh my God! Yeah, Michael Jordan was is actually he's retired, but he's a professional. I like when Michael Jordan is playing. He he shots like that. I still copy his style like this. <laughs> All right. I really like Michael Michael Jordan styles, and especially something uh, something I love from him is when he when he jumps up. He shoots the basket. He he shot uh, right. He shoots the the ball in the into the basket, and this is sure right that he's going to put the ball in. So, uh, do you know what is the number of Michael Jordan? Uh, the 23. The 23 is the number of Michael Jordan. And other and than... 23 and 99. 99, yeah. And let me ask you something. I have another question for you. All right. What is the team of uh, the previous team of the former team of Michael Jordan? I can speak. I can speak the name of the name of the team. Oh, you cannot say the name of the team. I'm gonna tell you. All right, the name of my of the former former Michael Jordan's team was the Chicago Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls. Do you remember? Well, actually, I don't know if you remember that Michael Jordan participated in a movie, in a film, like an animated movie with Looney Tunes. Mm. Yeah, he did it before. Uh, I think the name of this one was, the, the, the name of this movie was Spy Gems. Spy Gems. So it was about a very funny movie with cartoons, they, they are, uh, we could see uh, Boss Bonnie and uh, some other cartoons. It was very nice. Let me share my screen to you so we can start the rest of the class. Okay, so let me show you, all right? This is our, our lesson, so our topic. I decided to change it, all right? So, and now we're gonna be talking about time. Time is gonna be our new, our new topic. I'm looking for something easier for you, okay? And like I said before, we always spend time in something maybe we may not have my favorite hobby, but there is always something we like to do. Do you enjoy reading? Do you like to read books? No. No? Okay. So here we are gonna be talking about some things that you maybe you like and maybe things that you do not like. So let's see here. All right, so those are free time activities, all right? Free time activities, okay? And today, we are going to be able to talk about hobbies, all right? Hobbies, you know, hobbies are activities. Whatever kind of activity we do in our free time, maybe to go shopping, maybe to, do you like to go shopping? Yes. All right, maybe to to dress a nice hat to go out. For example, in my personal case, I also enjoy going shopping because I can see new things. Even I'm not going to buy something, but I'm going there and I relax. I distract my mind. And maybe if I see something that I like and I can say, for example, oh, look at this hat over there. I like this hat. Let me go ahead and take it. And then suddenly, Nyang, I grab the hat and then I got it. And I say, oh, 
this one looks like me. And I go ahead and take it. And that may be a good hobby because maybe I went out with the intention of maybe buying something, maybe to just to watch things, and maybe I pick something. All right. So let's yeah. continue here. Let's see some of the hobbies we are having in our stream. What is the first one? Singing karaoke. Singing in a karaoke. For example, let me show you here. I am gonna, let me see if I have here that is very, something that is very important. Allow me a second. All right. I have something, but something that is very important when you see what uh, do you like singing in a karaoke do you do you like uh do you do you enjoy singing in karaoke's no i sing in bed <laughs> in the bathroom i can tell you before uh, with my friends with my friends we all the time used to have a karaoke and I, I remember once I was trying to sing a song and they told me to, to sing an R. Kelly song. And I was like, with my mic, all right, this one, I was like singing like, I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. Do you know this song? Not really? I, I, I listen. I listen to this song, but I don't remember the name. Oh, that is I Believe I Can Fly. All right. It's being sung by um, Mr. R. Kelly. All right. It's an American singer. All right. An R&B artist. And uh, that song is very, well, it was very popular and it is currently very popular. Even, you know, it's not being a uh, right play in, at, the radio, at the radio station. But it's very popular. I remember back in the days, everybody was like, I believe I can fly. I think about it every now and day. I spread my wings so far away. <laughs> all right. Those were my times, all right? What about you? Do you have any favorite song in English? No. Not? OK, so let me ask you something. The next one is, what is the next one? The next one is listening to music. Listening to music. All right, listening to music is the next one. Let me just go back. All right, do you listen, uh, do you listen to music? Do you enjoy listening to music? No. I don't no. like singing karaoke. I don't like listening to music. So I don't like many things for music. Okay, you are not a music passionate person. All right. And what about surfing in the internet? Surfing the surfing the internet. Yes. Surfing online. Do you enjoy surfing online? Yes. And what is that you like to look for online? What kind of information or what kind of things do you like to do online? When you start your game. Oh, uh, do you enjoy playing video games online? Yes. Fantastic. And can you tell me the names of some of your favorite video games? Uh, free Fire. Oh, Free Fire? Oh, my yeah. goodness. Free Fire. I also know some video games, like one that is very popular, all right? I can uh that someone in my family all the time plays, all right? Uh, give me a second. I'm going to tell you the name of this. I'm going to remember right now. Because this, uh, this one is very popular. Let me see. Give me one second. Okay. 
So I remember, I remember the name of this video game is Call of Duty. Do you know Call of Duty? No, I don't know. Okay, fantastic. All right, you enjoy playing video games. What about playing chess? Do you like that? Sometimes I play it. Oh, nice. It's a board, it's a boarding game. Board is a board game. Actually, this is something you can play on the table with somebody else. It might be also entertaining for many people. You I need know. to, yeah. And also, you know, the the thing is that um, we have to use our concentration to analyze, to think uh, what is the move that the opponent, right? is going to is going to take let me ask you something what about playing cards do you enjoy playing cards i very enjoy oh nice all right so i i can see now your likes that sounds very good so i see here that you enjoy uh playing video games playing chess and playing cards right yes fantastic i i see here that you're passionate when it has to do with, uh, you know, like boarding games, especially this type of games that boarding you- Boarding game is very interesting. Oh, it's very interesting. All right, sounds very good. So I also enjoy with boarding games. So here in America, we have one of the, I don't know if you know this one, but there is a sort of boarding game that we enjoy here a lot. We enjoy this very much which is purchased. It's a new, you know, it's a, it's kind of like moving, right? Similar to, uh, to chess, but not the same. It's way different. And uh, the name of this game is, is a boarding game to purchase, right? Yes. So, so now we are going to continue, all right? Unit 2. Lesson 2A. We are going to listen Exercise to this. 2. Give me a second. I'm already awake. Okay, like I said before, Nyak, all right, we are going to label the photos with eight words below and then. Um, you're going to tell me which halves in the sport are not illustrated. Look at there. Look at the look at the photos right here. We have six photos. All right. Obviously, you already know what they stand for or what these pictures represent. And we are going to use some of these sports or hobbies that have not been have not been illustrated in the pictures before. Listen to this, listen carefully the audio, and then I want you to tell me, okay, which words have been mentioned in this audio? Unit two. Okay. Lesson 2A, exercise two. One, ice hockey. Okay. Two, taking photos. Three, Drawing. Okay. Four. Athletics. Five. Cycling. Okay. Six. Skateboarding. Seven. Board games. Oh. <laughs> Eight. Gymnastics. All right. Not illustrated. Basketball. Okay. Dancing. Not illustrated. Basketball. Drama. Dancing. Fashion. Drama. Football. Fashion. Football. Okay. Ice skating. Football. Okay. Jogging. Basketball. Listening to music. Jogging. Reading books. Reading magazines. Rollerblading. Reading magazine. 
Surfing the net. Swimming. Video games. Volleyball. Okay. Watching films. Okay, so I want you to tell me, Nyang, right? Some of these not illustrated sports or hobbies, can you tell me some of them, the ones you read, or I mean, the ones you listen? Okay. Uh, did you did you manage to listen well? Would you like me to repeat again? No. Okay. Can you remember some of those not illustrated, all right? Not illustrated hobbies or a sport? A sport, I'm sorry. Any idea? Do you remember? Sport. Yeah, like football, what else? Uh, swimming. Sw yeah, swimming. Something else? Basketball. Basketball. Something else? Volleyball. Volleyball. Maybe another activity? Skateboarding. And what, what else? Dancing. Dancing. That's right. My goodness. Great job. Fantastic. Dancing. That is correct. Something else? Dancing. Dancing, yeah. Another one that is not illustrated. Uh, skateboarding. Skateboarding, yeah, that may be another one. That's right, that's perfect. So now we are gonna practice with this vocabulary, which I want you to help me read in. All right, so let's get it started. First one. What is the first one? Athletics. Athletic. Basketball. Basketball. Board games. Board games. Next one. Cycling. Dancing. Cycling. Dancing, all right. And drama. All right. Dancing. Drawing. Face. Football. Gymnastic. Ice uh hockey. Okay. I skating. The right. Listening to music. Okay. Reading books. Re reading magazines. Rollerblading. Rollerblading. All right. Uh, skateboarding. Okay. Surfing the in surfing the net. Surfing the net. That's right. It's Taking photos. Okay. Swimming. Okay, and Video what is it? Volleyball. Watching films. Watching films. That's right. Fantastic. We, I think we jumped. All right, one of them. We missed one of them, and uh, that that was fa fashion. Okay, so let me ask you something. Which sports or hobbies can you do at home? Which of these sports can you do at home? Any idea? No. Maybe video games or maybe let me see listening to music <laughs> those are things you can do at home and what about outside can, what can you do outside uh, okay. okay play you mentioned you say play a game 
Okay. And what can you do in a in a sports center? I can do. Sorry. I can do. Okay, let me ask you something, number four. And what can you do on your own? Things that you, what can you do by yourself on your own? Any idea? No. Uh, do you think you can play video games on your own? Yes. Okay. That's nice. And what can you do with your friends? What can you do with a friend? I play basketball. Ah, you play basketball <laughs> with a friend. That's right. That's nice. And what can you do in a team? Mm. I stay at home. Okay. <laughs> you stay at home? Uh, with that team, do you think you can do something? Like maybe even play basketball. You can also play basketball with a team. Would you, uh, do you like playing basketball with a team? Yes, I like. Oh, perfect. That sounds good. Let's see here. So let me see. What time is it? Oh, wow. Time is running away. So look at there, we are going to do this exercise. I am going to play the audio and I want you to tell me which, okay. I want you to listen to the three people talking and we are going to match each person with two hobbies and sports that they talk about from, from exercise number one. Listen to this. All right, let me see. Here we go. Lesson 2A, exercises four and five. Okay, listen to One. this. Emily. Emily. I'm really into sport. I love volleyball. I play at the sports centre every weekend. I go with my brother. He doesn't play volleyball. He goes swimming. But I'm not very keen on swimming. Probably because I'm not very good at it. Two, Andy. I've got an Xbox and a TV in my room. When I come home from school, I play video games with my brother. He loves war games, like Call of Duty. Call of okay. Duty is OK, but I prefer Burnout Revenge. Okay. I really like board games too. I play them with my family and also with my friends. Three, Claire. Okay, Claire. I haven't got many hobbies really. Um, I read a lot of magazines. Yeah, I like magazines, but I think books are boring. Um. I've got an MP3 player, so I listen to songs on the bus every morning. I quite like hip-hop. My favourite group is the Black Eyed Peas. OK. OK, so now let's see the exercises. I want you to help me with those exercises. OK, so number one, Emily. What can you tell me about Emily? Lesson 2A, okay. exercises 4 and 5. You said that Emily likes volleyball? Volleyball. Okay. And what about, okay, let's see. Let me just show you. What about Andy? Um, video game. Okay. Uh, Emily likes volleyball and swimming. All right, Andy? Video games and what else? Play video game and 
board games, right? Or boarding games, yeah. And what about uh, cleric? Uh, reading magazine. Reading magazines and? Uh, listening music. Listening to music, that's right. Okay, let's complete the exercise, all right, down below. Exercise number five, all right? So we are going to use, Nyak, we are going to use these words, all right, to complete the exercises. All right, number one, I'm really? Like. I really like, all right? So I'm not? I'm not very keen on. I'm not very keen on, that's right. In number six, Call of Duty, I mean, number three, I'm sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Number three, uh, Call of Duty is? Perfect. Okay. Call of Duty is? Okay. But I? But I prefer. Prefer, all right, Born Out Revenge. Number four. I really okay. I really, I really like board games too. Number five, I think books are boring. Boring. And finally, I I quite like like head hub. All right. So let me ask you something. I think uh we can do this conversation, this exercise real quick. Okay. Let's practice with this conversation, all right? I am gonna open the question and then you continue answering. Okay, do you like swimming? Yes. I'm very in it. Into it, yes. Repeat it again please yes i'm really into it okay and in the case the answer is uh, negative what would you say no i'm not very keen on it fantastic all right and if you like so much what would you say i quite like it i quite like quite it like I quite like it. And what about this one? It's okay. But? It's okay. But I prefer. What? What about you? That's right. Okay, about to finish. You? Very good. To finish with the class, I would like to ask you, what did we learn today in our class? Do you remember? Can you tell can you tell me some of the words we learned today in our class? Okay, what new words do we learn did we learn today in our class? In the previous class. Okay, what else? Solid sports. Listening. Listening, listening, listening to music. Something else. Yeah. Okay, remember playing video games, listening to music, playing chess. One more thing uh, before I finish, Nyak. Um, yeah, I'll serve the net, the net, that's right. One more thing before I finish. I would like to confirm your age. You told me your age is 13 years old, right? Are you 13, right? No. You say 30, three zero? I just, I'm 13 years old. 
13. All right. Fantastic. Let me just correct it. I'm sorry. Let me see here. Correct this. 13 years old, all right? Okay, well, thank you so much. I hope you have a nice rest of the day. I wish you all the best today. Thank you for being in the class. You know, my name is Tisha Alex, and it's been a pleasure to be here in the class. Yeah. Goodbye, Nyan. See you. Bye. Thank you.